Um, so I'm going to go inside and sit in front of the fire for a minute, warm my hands up, and drink some coffee. Good morning and welcome to TNT Homesteading. This is Terry. Uh, this morning, uh, I've got I've got a busy day. It's Saturday morning, and it's first Saturday uh, after our first full week here. So this is day eight of living here after the move, and I've got so much to do today, and I am needing to get started. It's a cold morning though. It's 23 degrees right now, and so uh, my hands are cold. So I may end up taking more breaks than I'd like. Ooh, you can't really see me, but I wanted to show you what's going on here. Up for today is upgrading of the solar kit. Um, I need to upgrade batteries. I've, I'm going to replace the five lead acid with four, uh, the five 100 amp hour lead acid batteries to four 200 amp hour, um, uh, what are they called? LifePo four, uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries i think they are but it's way back there <laughs> and so pretty much all of this needs to come out so i can get back there and work on the system <coughs> we had some rain and during the move we just had to put things where we could uh, this needs to be sorted anyway i don't know if i'll have time to do that today because of other stuff i'm wanting to get done uh, I want to get a divider wall in the chickens. I started that a little bit yesterday and um, I'd like to finish that up today so we can have our area and then a door to get in and out easier than going around. And then one other thing I want to do today, let me get where y'all can see, is here on the solar field, I have marked, I've been paying closer attention to where the trees are at. And I've got several marked, like those two uh, red cedars right there in front of me. Uh, those are coming down. But I've went through and I've marked a whole bunch of trees to cut down there. Um, and then I know I've got some over here that will still need to come down. And I've got them marked for evening. And this will be good. When I created this spot during the summertime and the panels got really good sunlight. Uh, from pretty much sun up to sundown, except for a little bit at the very beginning and a little bit in the evening. Uh, had a really good um, number of hours of just direct sunlight. Uh, but in the wintertime, uh, I've got too much stuff lower down that needs to come out. So uh, I'm just going to try to drop as many trees as I can today, if time permits. And then I'll come back later and buck and split and all that kind of stuff. I've got trees though from when we put this up still on the ground, which makes me <sighs> time. Time is my enemy. So I need to get a lot of that stuff done. Now that we're here full time, um, hopefully that will be easier to work on. I do know that um, work this week has not been good. Uh, by the time I get off work, it's dark. I was going to work at dark and I'm getting off work at dark. Uh, but I know as summer gets here, the days get longer, I'll have some time. And then uh, if we can ever get some bugs situated, uh, hopefully I won't have as long a days either. So um, that's one of the problems when you're in support. Uh, anyway, I've got a busy, busy day ahead of me. And uh, I want to get started. And uh, I guess it's time to get to it. All right, so this looks a lot better. I can get to the solar stuff. Uh, my plan is we, we came here with a couple of pallets. 
So I plan on cutting one of the pallets there, putting some bricks underneath them, and um, that's where I'm going to put the batteries. Once I break that out and sort of clean it out, I think there's some trash over there. There's been a big, uh, uh, what's that called, a propane refrigerator sitting there. I've yet to get it to work. I think it just needs to clean out. But you can see I can get in here now. What I hope is while I've got it clear, I can actually put things back in a more orderly manner. But we will see. Number one priority is the solar. Uh, I gotta check on weather because if, uh, if I don't have to worry about rain tonight, I'll probably just leave some of this stuff. I'll probably just leave some of this stuff uh, out overnight and maybe do some more tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. There's so much to be done really don't want to overdo it with your stuff it just I really the stuff needs to be inside and I just don't have a lot of storage here so ooh, sorry about that so that's what it is so uh, I'm starting to sweat a little bit on my head but my fingers are about to fall off um, so I'm gonna go inside and sit in front of the fire for a minute warm my hands up and drink some coffee All right, let me show you what I got. I disconnected the power inverter and um, <clears throat> brought in some bricks, cut the pallet down to size, uh, and I'm currently planning to dry fit the four batteries. I just want to set them here, make sure they're good. Um, I haven't installed that board yet, but I'm going to install that pretty much right up there so that I can mount all of my stuff right above the batteries once that's once I know but I don't want to put that up there until I have a better idea of where exactly uh, how far the cables can reach um, I've got I think I've got everything I need I just got to find everything because it's all come in and with us living here it's been sort of crazy so I have four of these chins battery 200 amp hour deep cycle life po fours um, that'll give me 800 amp hours as opposed to the 500 amp hours but since those are lead acid you're not supposed to drain them below 50 percent so that's 250 amp hours of usable energy um, so this will greatly increase it assuming that the panels will charge it uh, I believe they will if I get all the trees taken care of. So, um, I know some people like to see the work, but scraping soil and leveling bricks is not my idea of entertainment. Even educational entertainment. So, I didn't bring you along for that. Again, all I'm doing now is I'm going to bring in the other three batteries, set them down, um, uh, and uh, figure out how far, you know, make sure the cables fit uh, the spacing on the batteries and uh, screw everything together. I'll give an update before I am finish that up. All right, so I'm out at the uh, charge controller and basically what I'm getting ready to do right now is disconnect that cable right there it's not really wanting to focus there we go that cable right there I'm going to disconnect what that's going to do it's going to cut off the power coming from the solar panels inside so I don't have to worry about electrocuting myself except from just the batteries themselves <laughs> um, seriously though uh, I do this every time I come out here I'll either do that or I'll disconnect from the battery um, I am buying or did buy a um, switch so I can actually turn it off from inside and that'll keep the power from go going into the battery system but I have to get it all installed so let's get on that and now that I have it unplugged you can see we've got nothing coming from the panels 
uh, going to the batteries. So, um, now I can go inside and finish up in there. All right, so let me give you an update what I've got going on inside. Um, I do have my bus bars installed on the back wall there. Um, my black, I made sure that the cables would reach, but um, my blacks will connect to black, reds to red, red into the bus bar. Um, my power coming in from the solar panels will go into the bus bar, and then so will the uh, cables for the power inverter. Um, I do have, as I was just talking about, there we go, 40 amp breaker. Um, but that'll let me shut things off while I'm in here working. But next step is I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all the batteries and get them out of here so I don't have them over my head. I would hate to drop them on my precious, precious cargo down here. So made some progress. I got rid of the batteries, brought the cable in from the solar into the switch, the switch into the bus bar. Um, so that's good. Uh, I've got the same thing, the solar coming into the bus bar. Uh, it's ready to go. I was about to hook up the power inverter and we ran into a problem. Is this one of my projects if I don't run into a problem? I can't get, that might work. It's just not, it's not big enough. So I have to figure out what to do with that. Oh well, I got an idea. I think I can, if I can find it, file just a little bit of that end off so I can get the bolt through. I think that'll work. We'll find out. All right, that did it. Um, I was able to get it on there and I got the cover on that bus bar. So I just have to file that one down. Well, I'll double check, but I'm assuming I'll have the same issue. File it down and connect it to the bus bar, and then I can finish connecting my batteries. So we got everything connected. Well, I've got the inverter connected to the bus bars, and the bus bar is connected to the solar array, and the bus bar is also connected to the battery. Only thing left to do is uh, finish wiring the batteries together. And uh, we'll have that under control. Uh, I'll put plug the uh, solar array back in, make sure I'm showing nothing on the batteries. And assuming I have nothing on the batteries, I'll come in here and flip that uh, switch and hopefully allow the power from the solar panels in. It's a much cloudier day right now than I would like, but it's what I got. Uh, Anyway, I'm pretty excited. This looks a lot nicer than what I had, and I'm really excited about the extra power. Uh, the pain in the wallet, I think I'll forget about after I don't have to worry about electricity as much. At least that's the goal. Okay, you can see that the charge controller is dead. There's no power anywhere. So, let's plug in the solar. All right, plugged in the solar. It's telling me we got a problem, but the problem is we have no batteries. So that's expected. So let's go flip the switch. So we're in here and we should be charging. Let's go see what it says. All right, it shows the battery. It shows we're charging. Um, it says we got 14.4 volts. Ten amps coming in from the solar panels. 
14 4 volts we have no DC output no amp hours coming in or out it's 12 degrees Celsius no errors so let me check the app I did change you can see over there it says lithium I did remember to change that before I flipped the switch so I'm pretty happy uh, things are going well uh, I mean she doesn't use her hair dryer very much but she does like to use it like on Sundays before going to church she likes to fix her hair um, so uh, it looks like maybe things are going well uh, it didn't really show a draw um, on the old system as soon as she turned on her hair dryer within five seconds it was screaming at us uh, so we'll see how it all goes let me show you this whole thing now so it's all complete I got my four batteries 200 amp hours each so that's 800 amp hours I've got a 3000 watt power inverter and uh, everything plugged into bus bars and when I went to first turn it on it wasn't working and it scared me and then I realized that I'd turned it I've been using the remote oops just knocked over a screwdriver the system came with an on off switch sort of a remote so you don't have to get to it um, and uh, We've been using that because we'd get the batteries to 100% and then turn it off and then just use it as we needed to. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, really excited. Really, really excited. I don't know if y'all know how excited I am. <laughs> um, this last week's been a real struggle. Uh, I work from home and trying to get the um, the computers running and, and battery packs because everything working. Um, now I may hopefully be able to get Starlink working better. I still need to cut down some trees for um, the solar and cutting those down may help with Starlink because I can move. Well, let me show you. All right, so I have Starlink sitting here at the moment. I put them on the barrels to get them higher off the ground. I really need to go even higher. Um, but it is what it is at the moment. I've got a plan to get it higher, but we'll see. Um, it complains about some of those trees, probably those two right there. It complains about those the most. Um, but it also complains a little bit right up there, just the edge right along there. But several of those trees are the ones that's going to have to come down for the solar. So, ooh, almost tripped. As I come over here to the solar, if I start cutting out those trees right there, and those trees right there, I might even be able to move the solar, I mean the Starlink from here a little bit further back um, and not have to take these panel or any of these trees right behind the panels out. Uh, I tend to get a little better. The more I cut down trees, the better I get at it. But uh, I don't want to squish my panels. Uh, we'll see. I've got lots of stuff to do still. I do need to cut down some trees. I do need to put all the stuff back in the shed. And I really want to get the chicken coop taken care of to make our lives easier out there. Um, but it's a little after lunch. It's like one. So it took me a little longer than I expected, but not bad. Um, and I still got plenty of time to get some stuff done. So I'm going to get off here and uh, move on to the next, next project. I hope you may have learned something. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you on the next video.